card ladder. You mentioned hobby businesses a couple of times. Um, can you talk about it at all or no? Or is, yeah. that, is that close to the chest, similar to the grail hunting? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, so some of them, right? So um, uh, you guys may have also seen that, that I've been doing a regular um, Instagram live. I didn't do it tonight with Jason Concepcion, uh, yep. previously of The Ringer, and now with um, uh, Crooked Media. So, you know, on the content front, both of those things, um, you know, we'll continue to, to push forward with Kevin at ESPN and with Jason of what we can do there. Um, I just enjoy that stuff. Um, on the business side, I think a lot of people know that I've created a, um, you know, call it like a, a trading card alternative asset management company um, where we have like uh, trading card funds and, and raise money to buy cards. Um, that was purely a function of one, I just couldn't buy any more cards physically. Like at some point you just like, doesn't matter how much money you have, you just got to have to stop buying cards, at least at that level. And then two, so many people were asking me to buy cards. And this was a big part of the transition to leave StockX and go do this because the similarity between sneakers in 2013, 2014 and trading cards right now, I mean, it's almost identical. It's the same people, it's the same generation. It's the same supply and demand construct. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's all of us, it's just, it's just people coming back in to drive the demand up against the fixed supply. Uh, Michael Jordan at the center of both industries, you've all of this. And so in 2013, I'd get hit up a half a dozen times a week saying, hey man, can you help me find those Jordans we used to wear in high school? And now it was, hey man, can you help me find Jordan rookies, right? So it was this combination of all these people asking for help buying cards. And I actually bought, there's probably like three or four people where they said, hey, can I, let me just give you 50 grand. Let me give you hundred grand. Can you just buy me a collection? And, <laughs> and I did that for like three or four people just because they were friends and, and helped them out. And it was right, in, right before the big run up in like August of last year. So I did this, all three of them, like in the matter of like six weeks have like tripled their money, right? So then there's like 12 people, 15 people were hitting me. And they, the conversation goes from, hey, can I give you 50 grand and buy me a collection to, hey, can I give you 50 grand and buy a collection? But, you know, I don't really want to like uh, hold it. Could you like hold it for me and then sell it for me later? And I'm like, no, no. Like, what and then I was like, well, hold on. I was like, there's a pretty like obvious business there. So it's um it's a really simple business but it gives the the legal regulatory um framework to be able to do a lot of other things as as it grows and it's not the primary business that i am still keeping close to the best and, and we'll talk about soon but um but all these things get to the, the highest level point where trading cards are true investable assets and i don't need to even begin to, to explain that to you guys of, of why that's the case but because of that there's so many business opportunities that are on the table, right? Every business model, every business opportunity, every business partner in, well, it's already e-commerce. It already is the center of culture. Now it's also finance and it's also gambling, right? So every business in all four of those business uh, industries is on the table. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these things we'll, we'll see will we'll come together. But, um, you know, to me, there's just, there's so much, is so much opportunity in the space and um but i will say that i am not uh creating a um a data and analytics price guide um and i am uh, i am not going after that part of the market i feel like that that part is very well covered and uh and it's good for for those people in the space who will continue to uh cite their data on sports center All the Warren Buffets and Charlie Mungers, this is this is your chance. You have until July first to put together uh, a fantasy collection of up to ten thousand dollars, picking from any of the eleven thousand five hundred cards in the card letter database. Build your collection. We will now let you go over ten thousand. Build your collection. Have it in by July first, and then just sit back and wait. And whoever's collection appreciates most over the month of July will win the prize in second and third place with the second and third place prizes. Games only available to Card Ladder Pro members. The prize, this is a 2019-20 Prism Cello box. These go for about 12 or 1300 right now, plus a one year subscription to Card Ladder. And second and third place get subscriptions, one year subscriptions to Card Ladder as well. We're giving away a legit prize here. This is a thousand dollar, $1,200 box of cards. There's already like over, I think there's like 150 people that have signed up already and and put in their collections and uh, it's gonna be fun, you know? It's gonna be a battle to see what happens.